Hey Ashley, it's Corey. I just wanted to give you a quick video and a tour around your website, kind of show you how things work just a little bit. And of course, you know, you can call me with questions as well or email me is usually the best way. So anyway, let me give you a quick tour. So basically what you're looking at here is embroideryandscrubs.com is your website address. As you know, um, you know, I put some header images up to kind of illustrate what you guys are doing, featured products, scrubs. I put in some you know uh, categories in here and some different pages and you've sent some information and put some things in some pages so we've got some pages filled um, now we just need to start adding some product and I'm, I'm not sure what this broken image is but I'll check that and uh, like I say we just need to start adding some products so basically I'm going to show you how to do that um, how I always get to the admin is I just go to the domain name and then I go WP dash admin and I believe I've already sent you user information but I'll double check and just make sure um, and if I have or have not I will resend it or send it initially and you'll have some login information you know that you'll be able to use right here so you log in and this is the WordPress admin um, this is the administration section and really all you need to deal with is the dashboard here don't worry about any of the update stuff we update all that for you when it's you know time to get it done and you know when the versions are stable and stuff like that so just to kind of give you a tour um, you are in a WordPress website so your whole website is based on WordPress which is a blogging solution so you know there's blogging involved as well um, posts are going to be posts to the blog media is if you want to upload images or something like that you can upload it through the media um, you know if you want to do links and really you know the, uh, there's a couple things that I think you'd be most interested in and that's the pages if you click on all pages you're gonna see the pages of your website that we have built for your website right now um, you, you'll see that you can add new and you can create a page name you can put content in here you'll see that you know it's like a WYSIWYG editor so you're gonna have you know you just enter text and then click publish and you know you've got your new page so anyway you can go again you can go back and you've got all your pages here you can go and like in for example if you go to the home page you're gonna see all the home page text you can change some text there and click update and it would change real time on the site so that's kinda how the pages work um, now the products really what you're gonna do is go into the product catalog and let me just take you on a quick tour again there's a couple things you want to pay mainly attention to here is the product catalog itself if you just click on that it's gonna open you know where your products are of course there's none in here so you know that's that's uh, where they'll be add new is gonna be add a new product product categories is the categories that I showed you earlier so if I click on the categories you're gonna see these kind of things we've already messed with the settings and those kind of things so you don't need to worry too much about that unless we find something and of course we can always add that but in the categories here you're gonna see you know I have the categories just like they show up on the website and those can be changed or added to at any time you can add new categories you can change them so that they have parent categories you know whatever you need to do all right, so clicking on add a new product. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and put in here the product name. You're gonna add media, you'll upload your files. So you'll select a file and let's just say you're adding this. That's gonna be your product image. Um, this is the description. and then down here are the item options and the product options so you're gonna have like um, in this one you may have color for example and first one you want please choose and then you're gonna put a semicolon you're gonna put um, red semicolon green semicolon blue then you're gonna click update and you're gonna add a new option called size and then you're going to put of course please choose again because we'll make it so that it needs to change that choose and then you're going to have a semicolon and let's go you know um, medium large and XL XL alright now um, let's say on the XL you wanted a well let's say let's say you have double XL add 
$2. So what you're going to do there is you're going to put a colon and then you're going to go price equals plus 2. And that will show that that option is the price, you know, plus 2. Now let's say you had a triple X, you'd go ahead and put a semicolon in again and go XXL, you know, add four dollars for example and then you're gonna go again colon price equals plus four and that will add to that price um, down here this is the price that it's adding the two dollars and the four dollars up here too so you're gonna go you have a regular price and a sales price now if you're gonna use sales prices great if you're not then you put the regular price in here um, it'll just show crossed out with a sales price if you want to do that you can also hide the price if you were putting the prices in the drop downs up here or for any reason. Um, if you click out of stock it will hide the add to, sh add to shopping cart button and not make that an option. And then the part number SKU number is going to be you know if you use part numbers or SKU numbers in your in your uh, products and I would always suggest you put something in there you know for your records and you know for future reference and that kind of thing. Shipping weight you're just going to put the weight in pounds so 4 is going to be 4 pounds. Um, 4.5 is going to be four and a half, etc. Shipping cost, if you're going to car charge shipping cost based on a per product basis, which is kind of the old way of doing it. Most people don't do it that way anymore, but you could put, you know, five dollars in here and it would charge five dollars for each one of these, you know, each one of these pants or whatever they are. Um, tax code, you know, that's if you want to do tax exempt stuff and I'm sure you'll want to get into that once you start setting up accounts and those kind of things. Um, you'll go over here to the product categories and you'll see here the product categories and of course as you change those those will change here but you just go ahead and check the ones that you want this product to show up in then you're gonna click publish and then you can go view this product and you'll see that there's the product image the product name the part number we didn't put a part number in but the price of fifty dollars you've got your two options please choose and you see the add two and add four um, I'm going to add four and I'm going to make it green and then I'm going to click the add to cart button. Uh, I'll fix that. All right. So anyway, it looks like there's a couple things that I need to update on here, like the add to cart buttons, the view cart buttons, and um, a few things like that. So I'll get that done on my end. And that's really how you add a product. Um, like I say, I'll go in and make some changes on my end to make this better than leave a reply. You know, say, uh, you know ask questions or I'll put something different there I'll add an add to cart button I'll add a view cart button and make this just um, so that it looks and works a little nicer but anyway that's how you uh, add a product to this to this uh, dashboard nice thing is is whenever you're logged into it you can always just go to you know let's say you go to home and you go click on scrubs and you see this scrub and you want to go in and make a change to it you can click on it and then edit this ecom products link will always be there it takes you right into the admin where you can you know edit this and you can say you know edit to and update whatever and you know view the product and that edit takes place in real time edit to Alright, so if you have any questions, let me know, and hope this video is helpful to you, and have a great day.